Hi, I'm Commander Ray Stromberger. I'm the navigator of the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, the basic parts of that job are uh, obviously getting the ship where it needs to go on time, pointed in the right direction, in the right condition, ready to do uh, whatever it is that we need to do. I grew up uh, just outside of Chicago. I went to Catholic school growing up just because that's kind of what everybody did there. I had one job. I was a caddy and a locker room worker at Midlothian Country Club in Chicago starting when I was 13 years old. I was uh, carrying golf bags uh, and cleaning, cleaning up after people. I disliked it so much that I decided that I was not going to do anything like that ever again. Well, I went to D.C. as a kid. I believe the first time I went there I was in about sixth grade, just on a family trip, and we went to the Air and Space Museum. And there's all the things that uh, seen on, you know, seen on movies, built models of, and the real. And the great impression that I came away from that experience with was obviously, you know, airplanes and rockets are incredibly cool and amazing, but you know, Superman didn't build them and Superman didn't fly in them. You know, real people built and flew in them. You really walk away with the impression that if they can do it, then I can do something like that. Before you know it, um, you know, in middle school and high school and um, seriously looking into what it would take to be a Navy flyer and what it would take to go to the Naval Academy. I started my Navy adventure wanting to be an F-18 pilot because that's obviously the coolest thing you could possibly be. I graduated from the academy, I was uh, going down to Pensacola, the Navy Flight School with pilot orders, and the very first thing that I did when I got to Pensacola was find out that I couldn't be a pilot because I had bad depth perception. You failed one little part of the flight physical and you were just out. No matter how low it seems like you are, uh, every good road from there starts with doing really, really well at the job you have. It would have been very easy for me at that point to just get kind of depressed and, and then things wouldn't have gone well entirely due to my own lack of performance, but I would have had some excuse for myself. Because I chose not to do that and I decided to be the best that I could possibly be, it has led to a great career, a great life, and uh, a wealth of experiences that I never would have even known existed otherwise. Uh, maybe the best thing about life in the Navy, besides the scenery, is uh, something different happens every single day. It is basically impossible to get in a rut in the Navy. Uh, here on the Eisenhower, this is a floating city. Uh, we probably have about 3,300 people on board right now. All of them uh, doing what they need to do to keep the ship moving and keep the airplanes launching and landing. Hundreds of things are going on right now that are, uh, that are gonna impact our life in the next hour, tomorrow, next week, and uh, seeing that all come together is probably the best thing about my job.